Hi everyone, Justin Siebel here, your associate golf professional here at Baby Golf and Country Club. This week's tip from the pro is going to be about chipping versus pitching. And we're going to discuss the 56 and the 60 degree wedge. First off, we're going to do a chip shot. Chip shot is very similar to a bump and run and a putting stroke. That's the easiest of the chipping motions or the all the motions that we use around the greens. And for that, I'm going to use a 56 degree wedge. You can use your lot your 60 as well. Just be aware that your 60 will come out a lot softer. So when setting up to do a chip shot, what we do is we keep our feet a lot closer together as opposed to further apart to really allow ourselves to rock our shoulders a lot easier. So a little bit of a narrower stance. Ball is in the center of our feet. Grip the club just as we normally would. And then from there we shift towards our target. So what's happening is we're shifting our whole body. And as we shift, the club moves forward. Everything shifts towards where we want the ball to go. From that position now, all that we're doing is we're just doing a putting stroke. We're not breaking the wrist, we're keeping everything locked, and the size of the motion will dictate how far the ball will travel. Well, I'm going to demonstrate. Just like so. The ball will usually travel a third of the way to the hole and then roll out two thirds. So you want a nice little shot to use whenever you're around the green and you don't really have to hit or the ball doesn't have to travel that far in order to hit the putting surface. Next we're going to talk about the pitch shot. I'm going to use my 60 degree wedge for that. Now a pitch shot is when you want the ball to travel a lot higher, more so around the halfway to the hole. So 50% of your distance is going to be in the air and the other half is going to be on the ground rolling towards the flag. You're going to take the same stance, same narrow stance, Ball's in the middle, weight is shifting towards your target. The only thing that changes is that on the backswing is that you're now adding a wrist break to add that descent, that descending blow that'll lift the ball up in the air and then have it released towards the flag. Just like so. Now both these shots are very integral part of anybody's golf game, especially here at Bayview, to help you recover from this long rough and get the ball onto the putting surface, hopefully uh, close enough for you to make uh, that par save or that bogey save. The last part that I want to talk about is whenever you're chipping at any time, it doesn't matter if you're doing a chip shot or a pitch, your front wrist is really the key that has to be stabilized where it doesn't ever break. If your wrist breaks, if I'm just in that position with my wrist broken, I can't even touch the ground. And that's what makes the club come up and top the golf ball and then not have the ball advance or really blade the center of the ball and then it skyrockets across the green. So again, the goal is to keep that wrist steady on the way through and always straight. Just like so. Hopefully this tip will help decipher a chip shot from a pitch shot. Thank you very much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing everybody in the golf shop.